Hi everyone, the purpose of this video is to show you how to describe data once you've created your line plot. So we've talked about um, making a line plot and I did a survey and I asked people how many books did they read this summer? So these were the answers that I got right here and then I took them and I put them in order and that helped me make my line plot. So one star represents that one person said they read zero books during the summer. Two people said they only read one book. So now I want to show you how to describe the data. What are some things that mathematicians would say using statistics and numbers to describe the information that's found in the line plot? So the first word that you need to know is range. Range is the distance or the space from the smallest number to the largest number in a set of data. So let me show you how to do that. So I want you to think of this like a number line. Oops, wrong line. Let me add a straight line instead. So our smallest number is zero. Our largest number is eight. So on a number line, how many jumps is it going to be from zero to eight? Well, Let's count and let's find out. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is a total of eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that our range equals eight. So let's talk about our next vocabulary word, median. Median is the middle number in a set of data. You might have heard this word if you were talking about the median in a road the middle part of the road? Well, the median in math is the middle number in a set of data. So let me show you how to find that. So here is the line plot with how many books did you read? Well, the first thing that you have to do if you want to find the median is you have to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to start at um, the zero because that's my first number and you'll see I have zero I have one star that means I'm gonna write the zero one time then I have two stars over the number one so that means I'm gonna write that number two times over the number two I have one two three stars which means I'm gonna write the number two three times I'm gonna put some spaces in here to help me keep track of this. So then I've got, I'm on number three, that's only written one time. Number four, it's only written one time. Number five is written twice, so I'm gonna write five twice. Then I have the number six one time. Number seven's not there. And then I have the number eight. So I've written all of the numbers that I have on here and I did write it multiple times if I had multiple X's so let me just check count my stars and count my numbers to make sure that I have all of the right uh, numbers in the right amount of numbers so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stars so let me make sure I have 12 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great. So I have all the numbers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle number kind of in the same way where we found factors. I'm going to connect the outside numbers in an upside down rainbow until I get into the middle. So I'm going to pick purple. I'm going to go from my zero to my eight outside numbers working my way into the center because remember ultimately the median is the middle number so my goal is to find out what's the middle number in this set of data I'm just gonna keep connecting keep connecting and now you can see here's this is gonna be the middle point so 
I've got these two numbers, this 2 and this 3, and I have to figure out what is the midway point between 2 and 3. So if I had a number line, and I had the number 2 here, and then I had the number 3 here, the halfway point would be 2 and a half, because halfway between 2 and 3 is 2 and a half. So that means our median equals 2 and 1 half. All right, great. So now let's move on to our next way to describe data, and that is the mode. The mode is the typical number or the number that occurs the most often in a set of data. So here we have the line plot that we made. I asked the people how many books did they read, so I want to know what's the typical answer. What did most people say? So I'm going to look and see which one has the most stars or X's or whatever shape it is above the number. So what do you think? What was the most common, most typical answer? If you said 2, you're right, because there's more X's over the number 2 than anywhere else, so the mode is 2. So the next couple question, the next couple of vocabulary words we're going to look off of one line plot, and that's clump, gap, and outlier. So the clump is the same thing as a cluster, and this is an area on a graph where data is concentrated. So in order to see this, I like to draw on my line plot. I'm looking for the clump or the cluster. So see how all this data right here from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, there's no spaces. There's no holes. It all is kind of clumped together. That's a clump. So the way you would write that is there's a clump from 0 all the way through the number 6. And then do you see how there's no stars above number 7? That's because there's a gap. A gap is an area on a line plot where there is no data. It's an area on a graph where there is no data. So right here, we have no data for the number 7. That means that the clump, I mean, excuse me, not the clump, the gap or the hole is at the number 7. The outlier is the place on a line, graph, on a, a line plot or a graph that is way outside the rest of the information. So it's a number and a set of data that's atypical, not typical, and it's far away from the other data. So I like to think of like an outfielder for this word. Somebody that's a, in the outfield in baseball is usually catching the balls that fly way out from the rest. So in this one you can see we have 8 is our outlier because it's away from the clump. So our outlier is 8 means somebody read eight books, just not a lot of people. So now it's your turn. Here's the line plot that you should have made last night for homework. And here's the correct amount of data over each part. I want you to find the range, median, mode, a gap, cluster, and an outlier. Go ahead and fill in your work in the Google form. Good luck.